Hello friends. So in today's session, I'm going to explain you how to create pod with the help of YML file. So in the previous session, I explained you how to uh, fix that issue, uh, like connection was uh, refused. Okay. So in today's session, we will like create the pod with the help of YML file. Okay. So if you see here in my screen, like a pod definition file I created. So, you know, like uh, Kubernetes uh, definition file always, you know, like contain the four top level fields. Okay, so that that are API version, you can see here, kind and metadata and spec. So if you see here, like, you know, kind, so kind means, you know, like pod, service, replica set, deployment, and these are the version. Okay, so in like, you know, inside this file, definition file, always this four top level field should be available. Okay. So let me explain you what are the this file uh, this content will do. So let me go to next slide. So you can see in this my uh, next slide like API version. So API version means this version of Kubernetes API server version. Okay, and kind kind means like I already explained you here. So these are the kind and these are the version. So which kind you are going to use? So that kind you have to specify here. Okay, and metadata. So metadata is uh, you know like a uh, the metadata data uh, like it's a data about the object it means like you know like what are you giving your name like you know what the pod name you are going to use that one you have to give here okay and then a spec so a spec is a directory so in a, inside the directory like you are going to use which kind of image you're going to use and that what is that in image name you know so that that field those fields you are going to use the inside the spec okay so i will uh, like going to create this file and, uh, and then i will show you like you know how to creating the pod with the help of yml file so don't worry about like you know this code this code is already available on my github so i'm going to i will give you that link so let me go to the my github so you can see this is my github and if you go to the Kubernetes directory here, so you will get the pod definition file. You can see here. Okay. So just you have to copy this one and go to the your server, Kubernetes master server. So let me uh, here create one directory here. Okay. MKDIR and uh, my test. Okay. I create it. Then let me go to the inside my test. And then let me vi and then give the file name. So pod definition dot yml. Okay. So now let me con copy the content. So, so let me copy this one. Let me paste. So you can see here API version kind metadata. So let me change the here, you know the name here because this already is running on my system so let me change here so i will give here my application my sorry let me remove something went wrong here or else like let me give my app one okay or 123 oh okay 123 let me give here and then let me change the here also same thing my app 123 okay so you can see version i already given kind already i given the pod metadata that name i given my my app 123 hyphen pod and that name i already mentioned here and which kind of image i'm going to use here you can see that is the nginx okay now let me save this file so before i'm going to execute this file let me check how many ports in running my system so let me run, run here that cube ctl get and pod so you can see it's the one pod is running here that is a my test app pod if you you can run it my uh, the cube ctl get ports also you will get the same output okay Okay, so now let me run the command cube ctl create 
hyphen f and then whatever wh what you have to do you have to give the your file name whatever your file name you can like so in my case i given the pod hyphen definition.yml so let me give this one okay let me hit, hit enter here so now you can see uh, pod my app 123 hyphen pod created now let me run the command qctl get pod so you can see it's a created my app 123 pod is a created you get 10 second ago you can see here okay let me show you one thing or uh, let me show you one thing more here cube ctl get nodes so when i'm running here uh, uh, cube ctl get nodes you can see it's showing here one master node and one is uh, worker node one and worker node two okay but when you created this you know pod you when you run here cube ctl get uh, hyphen f and the pod definition yml so it's showing the created so you can also seeing your uh, pod name here it's a created but you're not aware like this pod is created on which system like which worker node because in your system uh, in, in here in my case i have a two worker node but i'm not sure where is created so how to check this like you know when you created the pod like how you how you going to check that pod is created to which worker node okay so in that case what you have to do so you have to run the command again cube ctl get oh, sorry give ctl describe describe pod and then your pod name so what is my pod name here so my pod name is my app 123 hyphen pod so let me give let me give pipe mode okay so see when i am uh, hitting enter i am getting lots of pod put here so name name space is default right is zero so these these are the information you can set later like i will show you like when you giving you know complicated pod then i will show you how to define this parameter so as of now you can see it's a very simple pod my uh, my app 123 default zero node you can see here node now node worker node 2 so it's created on the worker node 2 here when today date you can see it's a today date so here uh, which which kind of image okay so you can see also here so like you know there here lots of informations are there if you want to go and read this you know message one by one okay so in my case let me run again this one so you can see i have a two pod here so the, when i'm checking this pod is this this uh, this pod is showing this uh, created on the worker node 2 but again same same thing i want to check with this pod which this pod is running on which uh, node so what we have to do again same command and you have to change the here only the name give ctl describe pod and your pod name so when i'm running you can see it's a uh, my test app and it's running in a worker node 1 okay so this way you can find the you know and this is a ip worker node 1 uh, so this in this way you can find like you in your pod is running on the which node okay so i hope uh, uh, you like this video so please subscribe my channel comment and share it if you like thank you for watching have a nice day